This is further evidence as to why platinum could explode in 2023. Let's explore. <laughs> Greetings members one and all of the Salivation Nation. I posted a video not too long ago about why Platinum's price could explode next year. And uh, this news I'm about to share with you now is further evidence as to why it could happen. It really falls sort of in line with what's going on with silver and Indian demand, but this time it's with China. China is buying up practically all of the uh, supply for industrial applications and, uh, and others. It's the fact that they've t picked up 20% of global mining supply for 2022. In fact, it is dramatically impacting the precious metals and creating a tight market conditions and higher lease rates. Uh, analysts at the World Platinum Investment Council said this trend could continue for the foreseeable future as industrial demand for platinum continues to grow. And this is according to an article from Kitco uh, and also uh, from an interview I saw uh, about how uh, platinum price could overtake and outperform gold and silver next year. Uh, the WPIC noted that according to trade data, more than 1.2 million ounces of platinum has flowed into China this year. More than 2.4 million ounces have flowed into China since 2021. However, the World Platinum Investment Council has not used these data in their supply and demand calculation as they haven't been able to track how the metal is being used. So I think that's one reason why we've not seen the prices really dramatically increase now. You know, I've always thought since about 2020, when I bought uh, this particular coin for about, I think, $700, $650 bucks or somewhere thereabouts, um, that platinum was undervalued. Same with this uh, eagle. Bought it for much less, almost half of what you can get these for today in uh, just a few short years. So platinum's price has already increased since then, and many feel, uh, at least I know that many in, um, in this space that pay attention feel that next year could be a big year for platinum. Um, and now and again, this is my feeling. This is the feeling of some analyst. It does not mean that it will be true. It's just a prognostication, um, but I always felt like it's probably good to diversify a little bit in the precious metal space. But platinum as a metal, seeing as it's sort of a fringe precious metal, I posted a video about several videos about that. I do like to keep up with the platinum markets. Um, but it is sort of a fringe precious metal. And by that, I mean that it is really considered an investment opportunity uh, that has a little bit more risk than you would find in the other precious metals. Uh, but probably the least amount of risk considering its price is lower now. In fact, as I record this video, it's trading just under um, $1,000 in the bid price and just over in the ask price. But nonetheless, it wasn't that long ago when it was trading for you know, $600, $500 or so. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, this is where, where we are at now, and China's demand could be part of what drives the price up. In interviews with Kitco News throughout the year, WPIC CEO Trevor Raymond has described the Chinese platinum market as a black hole of information, and understandably so. Uh, the same thing with their gold holdings and silver as well, too. There's a lot of mystery with China and how they handle the, um, you know, their numbers and market. That's why some people have gone out there and said that, uh, that China has way more gold than the United States, up to double the amount of gold that the United States has. Uh, very little evidence to back that up, but still it's being bantered about. And you know what? There could be some truth to some of it. We know that per capita, the Chinese, uh, you know, they believe it in, in their culture and they, they have it as a form of wealth. And they have been doing that for literally hundreds of years, if not maybe even longer. In, his latest, in the latest report, Edward Sturck, Director of Research at the Council, said that while the nation could be stockpiling platinum for future consumption, some of it is being used to meet growing demand. 
especially with the hydrogen fuel cell technology. And there's some hydrogen, um, and that is tied with some of the electric vehicles and the like. And people feel that the growing demand for platinum in that area, even tied to electric vehicles, will be a thing. Even uh, because uh, some other reports have said that hybrid vehicles actually use more platinum than regular ICEs, internal combustion engine vehicles. So that's pretty interesting and fascinating to know because it's going to be quite a while before there's a full transition because of the battery technology is just not quite there yet for electric vehicles, especially in winter months. The batteries do not perform nearly as well. And they also degrade very quickly, these lithium batteries. Um, I'm glad I don't have an electric vehicle, that's for sure, for that very reason. Uh, the reliability of the batteries is just not there yet. Um, we know that the timing of the purchase has been opportunistic, which suggests that there's been a quasi-speculative component to them. However, there's also been a steep uh, or a step change in total volume since early 2021, indicating that there also may have been an increase in real demand. Um, the WPIC noted that Chinese platinum imports have absorbed surpluses from 2021 and 2022. Last month, the WPIC said that they expect to see a platinum surplus of 804,000 ounces this year. Uh, expect imports into China have effectively resulted in a flow of platinum from Western vaults into China, leaving limited above ground stocks in the rest of the world to meet any supply shortages, such as a 303,000 um, ounce deficit forecast for 2023, um, Stirk said in the report. So they're taking all the platinum uh, that could be used uh, in this, causing this deficit here. The WPIC said that growing industrial demand, specifically from the auto sector, continues to grow. Platinum is a critical metal in automotive catalytic converters to reduce harmful emissions from vehicle exhaust. The WPIC has suspected that Chinese automakers have been increasing the amount of platinum used in their catalytic converters to further reduce emissions to meet higher government regulations. It's cheaper than palladium, which is also used, and of course China being kind of a different market they're using more uh, platinum. And there is, um, they talk about substitution for platinum for palladium because of the vast difference between the price of the metals. But who knows uh, how long that's gonna take to come into effect. But the Chinese market is not waiting. They're stockpiling it. And they're doing it for strategic reasons, as well as for a, a crisis, especially in some of these inner cities, like Beijing, for instance, is well known for its uh, massive air pollution caused by auto exhaust fumes. Although China appears to be building massive stockpile of platinum, Stroke said that he doesn't see this as a significant threat as prices will have to be materially higher if China were to flood the market. A similar situation with palladium occurred in the 2010s with the quasi-speculative inventories in China were only released after a significant increase, more than a doubling in the price of palladium, Stroke said. Now, there you go. Um, and see, this could what propels platinum to maybe even outshine gold. Now, I don't, I mean, as far as the actual price is concerned, there was a time, I mean, it's been a little while, but where it was regularly uh, understood that platinum was the highest priced precious metal. Um, in other words, higher than gold. For the longest time, that was the case. I remember buying uh, platinum when it was, didn't buy, I think I only got one ounce of bar. Cost me $1,400 when when gold was trading for, I think maybe 900 or so, or maybe even less than that at the time. But very, very interesting. Um, although platinum prices fell to a more than one year low in September, the market has been fairly stable with prices holding support around $800 an ounce. Investment demand has picked up into year end and prices trading solidly above $1,000 an ounce. January of platinum futures last traded at $1,034 an ounce. And uh, so that's where that is. In fact, if we take a look at the platinum price, um, as I record this video, it, it is at uh, $1,000 or $999, so just under $1,000, right under $1,000 right now. Um, so very, very interesting to see. And that was after it took a fairly big hit 
in the last trading day. But for all intents and purposes, it's $1,000 and a little bit above. Uh, the world, um, the WPIC said it expects investment demand to pick up in 2023 as the market will likely fall into a significant deficit next year. They added that the precious metal remains an attractive value play. The platinum price remains historically undervalued and significantly below gold and palladium. Sterk said the nature and size of platinum above ground stocks now locked up in China combined with the 2023 forecast deficit could materially impact price discovery. Folks, I believe this. I, I've always been a platinum bug um, and feel that it's been undervalued. The timing of, of where it is is where I'm usually wrong, but uh, it's been proven, at least to some extent, true, at least so far. And since I first started uh, talking about it um, in about 2020, um, and I've actually accumulated a bit more platinum because of it. Now, again, understanding platinum is not for everyone. It is a bit of a risky venture. And I say that uh, just based off of my own understanding and own feelings about it, but it, that is it. It's based off some data, obviously. You can make uh, assessments based off the data that is before you, but it does not always jive or match up with reality that could come into play. So in other words, I could be completely wrong. You have to uh, keep that in mind whenever you have feelings about any kind of metal as much uh, on you know, looking at the technical analysis of where the price has been, looking for patterns, looking for different things that, that can weigh on uh, what, what a metal does or any kind of asset class or any stock or bond or what have you. But regardless, I feel pretty good about platinum and feel pretty good about holding it myself. Let me know what your feelings are about platinum. I know there's some of you that are going to stick with gold and silver, and that's totally understandable. Um, but I believe in sort of diversifying. Now, uh, I will say that I have a very strong bias towards platinum. Um, I do think it is somewhat of a beautiful metal. It is a little different color. It's not as bright. It's not as bright. It has a, 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 a different kind of luster, sort of a deeper sort of luster. You can really see that in this piece here in this um in this uh, Britannia, the shine of it, it has a deeper kind of a luster, which I kind of like that about platinum. And it is obviously as well uh, the densest of all the precious metals that are traded. Between gold, silver, uh, palladium, and rhodium, platinum is the most dense, heaviest, and hardest of the metals. And I like that. I love a heavy metal. In, in more ways than one do I love heavy metal. Uh, so there you have it. That's my feelings on platinum. What are your feelings on it? Have you ever thought about expanding into the world of platinum and maybe picking up an ounce or even a tenth of an ounce? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. I hope you found this video insightful. I would like to extend a multitude of gratitude to you all for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate, share, comment, and subscribe.